What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to the best utility players in Dream Team Part 2. So a lot of people were asking me for more players, maybe a couple of cheap options and a couple of different ways of training up players and simulating stuff on eFootballDB.com. So we're going to get right into it with a couple of bargain boys and then a couple of guys I think you definitely need as utility men in your squad. So first up, we have got Balthazar. If you have missed episode one as well, let's make sure and check that out. Balthazar is 3,400 GP. Yes, you read that correctly. He's 62 overall. He's got a lot of nice player skills, including double touch, 72 acceleration, 21 years of age. He is on D rating as of this time of recording, but if you boost a little bit into his stats, he can go into like a mid 70s, especially with his speed and his passing, dribble and ball control being really high, and he can play multiple positions as well. Next up, we've got Oyer. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. As usual, I'm probably making a hames of it. But Oyer is a destroyer. He's only 10,000 GP, heading, interception, sliding tackle, captaincy, fighting spirit. Everything you need is a deep line DMF. Now, this guy's speed is a bit of an issue, but he can play DMF, CMF, center back, left back, or right back. So I would I would probably advise for his height, I would probably play him as a kind of a, a DMF that is just mopping up the ball like Kante and just train up his speed and his tackling. Next up, we've got Tufan. Now, I'm going to be... Really focusing on this Fenerbahce guy because he looks to be a bit of a hidden gem as well. Uh, shout out to Sepp for, for the tip on this guy. He's a box-to-box -box CMF, plays in the Turkish League for Fenerbahce, as I said. He's 26 years of age. He's got unwavering form. He's got so many player skills. We're going to take a quick look as to just what this guy can become. And if you guys want to simulate what a player can become or if you're looking at new players to try out and train up, eFootballDB is the place to go because you can simulate it in real time without having to actually train them up in game. So if we go over here to Tufan or Tufan, not too sure again how you pronounce it, but CMF, 10,000 GP, we're going to max him out as to potentially when he is maxed out in game. And what we're going to just do here, lads, is put him up in the best build I think is possible for him. So you're going to turn him in from, you know, like an absolute average player to a complete beast in midfield. You can see here 84 overall CMF, 85 overall. You can see you can mess around with his, his settings there. But look at those for stats. Like for a player that you're getting for 10,000 GP, it's incredible. So make sure you keep an eye on that and a couple of other hidden gems. But that is a really nice way to do it. He looks like an absolute monster. 86 overall at that. Next up, we have got Stryger Larsen. So Larsen, he's actually a free agent from Denmark, so you'll have to search for free agents. Denmark's right backs. He's 18,000, and Mabu is a guy that I, I wax lyrical about in the last episode. He's one of my favorite players. But look at this guy. I mean, Larsen is unbelievable. He's a bit smaller. He's a bit slower, but he makes up for that in pretty much every other stat is in the high 60s, and he's got some really nice player skills as well. He's definitely one to buy if you're looking for a, a man to fill all positions. Next up, we've got the Swiss Army Knife, that is James Milner. So every episode of this is going to have one guy that can not excel at everything, but kind of is average at everything. And then you need to decide how you're going to train him up. He doesn't have like amazing levels to go to in terms of his training. But if you want to turn him into a really solid left back, a really defensive minded left back with really nice player skills, you can do that. Fighting spirit, all that sort of stuff. For 22,000 GP, Liverpool fans would probably already have bought him further squads as a sub or whatnot next up we've got one of my favorite players from pez 2021 it is rafa silva now this guy was a featured edition last year and he was doing bits on the wings and he might be somebody that i buy again in my dream team chronicle series but we will see he's a right winger by trade but he can play anywhere up front he can play uh left wing right wing attack and mid left midfield right midfield he fits in with pretty much any formation Blister and pace for his base card. You can get that into the 90s if you so wish. He's just an absolute unit. Next up, we've got Aspilicueta. So I do like to have center backs that can play left or right back as well. And Aspilicueta is, I think, perfectly suited to right back if you boost up his stats. You don't need to touch his tackling. A lot of the time, what you'll see is if you're going for offensive full backs, their tackling and defensive awareness is really poor. And people can mistake that for... Yes, the game does have responsiveness issues in defending and stuff, but a lot of the time that can be defensive awareness and their engagement when they actually get close to the ball. Aspilicueta has no such issues. Next up, we've got Sergio Canales. I remember Sergio Canales being a bit of a hidden gem back in Pez, I would say maybe 10. 
that's going back a long time ago. He would have been only a youngster. I think he was with Real Madrid at the time or coming through the ranks. He was amazing as an attacking midfielder. He was one of the best players in Master League I ever got. Unwavering form. We're going to take a quick closer look at him. He's 79, right? He's 82,000 GP. Obviously, this mightn't be a player for everybody. But look at the positions he can play. DMF, CMF, uh, AMF, SS, right wing. We go over here to eFootball DB and we're going to simulate this and take a look. He's got really nice stats as well. You can see there he's got some really nice uh, player skills and stats. We're going to max him out at level 29 and we're going to just upgrade his speed and we're going to turn him into kind of like a powerhouse box to box, similar to some players such as Goretzka who are like 300,000 or somebody like that, that you can play box to box, you know what I mean, and this guy just keeps going up, up, and up, and up, and up, like, you're going to get him up to a 90 overall center midfielder, which is ridiculous for 82,000, and look at the stats, his ball control, his low passing, his speed, everything is solid across the board, and you can train him up however you see fit, you can turn him into an AMF, that's kind of what I would probably do if it was me, but he is a unit as well. Next up, we have got Demaria, now Demaria always seems to be I think one of the best players in PES games and now eFootball games. He has amazing form. He's amazing player skills. He has amazing player ID in terms of his animations, his moves, movement set, all that sort of stuff. His low center of gravity is, is really nice as well, the way he dribbles. And he's literally all his stats, right, for 120,000 GP. All his stats are in the mid 70s that you can boost up, the ones that you need anyway. He doesn't need finishing. So he's a beast as well. Also, we have got Havertz. Now, people have been crying out in the comments below. I am seeing it, lads, and I am listening to you. Havertz was destined to be in this uh, video because he is unbelievable. 22 years of age. He's got a real nice player card. He's got so many nice player skills as well. You can see here dribbling 78, 74, all that sort of stuff. We are going to have a closer look at the end um, at a player that I think, you know, if you aren't able to afford the main guy in this, I think Havertz is an amazing option to turn into a, 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 an SS with speed in mind. Griezmann, I was in two minds whether to include Griezmann or not. I did leave out a couple of players. So if you do want a part three of this video, I have, I think there's 12 more players that could, that, that was agonizing to, to leave them off because it's very hard to pick. And it's a mixture of Griezmann just being able to play you know, in a position for all those positions that you can see on the top right hand corner there for 180,000 GP, you can practically turn him into anything that you want a winger, an AMF, an SS, or a CF. So he had to come on. And again, we've got Son as well from Spurs. Now, Son and Mbappe, who is next? Mbappe is obviously three times the price. Now, if you obviously can't afford Mbappe, and you're looking for that injection of pace to have pace, power, finishing, I think Son is probably the closest you can get to that player, you know what I mean? That kind of player that you can just do it all. If you don't have Romario as your legend or you don't have Samuel Eto, I think Son training up his speed and his finishing, that's all you need. His ball control, everything else is fine. But Kylian Mbappe, he is the cream of the crop or the cream always rises to the top. I'm not too sure what that saying is, but he's a million GP lads, right? He doesn't need an introduction. He's probably the best player in the game, in my opinion. So this isn't like a hidden gem video. This is more about, he can play left mid, right mid, center forward, SS, AMF, CMF, left wing, right wing. Like it doesn't really make a difference. He can play any position. You can turn him into an outright blistering pace winger, cutting in from the side. You can turn him into a crosser. You can turn him into a, like leading the line. Um, and this is what I wanted to show you, right? So obviously Mbappe is the big, big choice to get here, but if you are looking and you're trying to think to yourself, you know, could I turn somebody like Havertz in who's so cheap, he's 150,000, he's nearly 10 times cheaper than Mbappe. This is what you could do with Havertz, right? You could turn him into a player like this. He doesn't have the speed, he doesn't have the acceleration, but you can turn Havertz into like somebody supplying Mbappe or somebody supplying Son with that. You know, he can, you can see there that he shoots up to like a 90 overall, depending on the stats, 91 overall, 92 overall, which is incredible. And again, 93 overall for a player like that, if you wanted to bring in his aerial strength, is ridiculous for 150,000, 93 overall. He's got speed, he's got, you know, ball control, he's got passing, he's got shooting, he's got balance, he's got everything that you could possibly need for a player at that price range. So, lads, if you do want a part three, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if there's anyone else that you have found that are utility players. As I said, I have a part three of this video ready to go, maybe, if you guys want it. But until then, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and get in touch in the comments below. Loving the engagement lately. Peace.